I like to show you that uh, you don't need to uh, buy your own uh, uh, your roller texture. Maybe if you have time and you know how to carve, uh, actually you can uh, carve your own roller texture. Uh, this is the one um, that I made this myself from the wheel. And uh, this is made out of uh, clay. Um, to show you what uh, I did. So this is the, uh, uh, I base fired it. Because the uh, length is not a, a perfect fit, so I put the two uh, two rubber uh, O-rings here to uh, to have a support, so it will uh, roll without wobbly. Okay. And this is about two pound of clay. And again, I'm throwing um, right on my smaller bed that I show you uh, how to fit the uh, drill hole on the wheel head and fit in the uh, small bed. So for rolling the um, texture deep enough, um, normally um, people without my method, they will put in the hand inside and just roll it. But that is not a very consistent and not very deep because the hand is not straight. So that I have a developed a, a, a method that you will be able to roll the, the, the texture that will be deep enough because you have a very good support inside. And the, uh, the way of doing it is you find a, a uh, straight uh, cardboard cylinder and then uh, you put it inside. Okay, so now this cardboard cylinder is a little bit too small uh, consider my size. So I'm going to color in so it will be uh, better fitting and the clay is flexible so you could uh, adjust it right that should be a similar size so uh, for insert the uh, cardboard cylinder um, if you don't uh, have some kind of uh, 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 wrapping. Uh, once you uh, hold, uh, you color in very tight. It's very super hard for you to pull out your cardboard cylinder. So that's why uh, I suggest people use a newspaper or some kind of a paper uh, to do that. Uh, because um, once you uh, you fit it in, you will be able to pull it out easily. Okay. Um, to uh, prevent the uh, wrinkle getting too much on the inner part, actually you can dip the uh, the newspaper in the water a bit to uh, soften a little bit before you put it in. So now you drop it in and push it down all the way. Okay. And then I start to uh, color from the, the bottom and slowly move it up. You don't want a color from the top, otherwise you will trap the air inside. You want to push the air out so your cylinder is fitting uh, more tightly. So start to push color from the very bottom. And you're going to use the, uh, the part here that is more uh, uh, flat side instead of using your fingertips. So more pressure on the uh, flat side of the, the palm. Uh, 
All right now the whole piece is fitting tightly and then you want to remove all the uh, slip and also the finger mark Okay, and um, if you want to be even nicer, you can use a metal rip to smooth the uh, silvers further. My own uh, handmade um, texture and uh, to prevent the uh, clay from uh, sticking on the uh, roller texture uh, since this is bisque so it, it's very porous so you might want to dip it in the water for uh, quite some time before you start to roll okay right and then um just hold on to the uh, cardboard here to support it and then uh, roll from the bottom all the way up. Um, I wouldn't um, do it all the way to uh, push the, the rim. I want to keep the rim in place so that the, uh, the, uh, the rim doesn't get uh, too much of a compress. And later on it's easier for you to, to uh, shape it. And making sure when you are using the uh, roller texture, make sure your roller is spinning freely without uh, stuck. Right, so I roll for a uh, circle around. Okay, so this is the uh, texture I, uh, roller texture I made myself from a piece of clay. Uh, it's a stone wear, so a little bit rough. If you have a porcelain, then uh, it will be more smooth. All right, and then, just for, before you uh, lift it up, make sure you don't hold on the newspaper. So when you roll the newspaper, uh, give a little bit of a room so your finger is grabbing on the tube instead of grabbing on the, the newspaper. Right, and then I can see that there, there's another layer of a newspaper because I wrote two layers of a newspaper. So when I pull it up, it's easier. And then just find the inner part of a paper and pull it out. Slowly uh, roll it. And take it out so from the top camera you will be able to see the inside and uh, the paper is absorbing all the slip and the water so it's gonna be uh, too dry and uh, before you stretch it you might want to uh, get the uh, sponge to uh, lubricate it Uh, 
uh, we can also use the uh, smaller rib that they will be able to put it, uh, put it inside and stretch. This is my uh, small uh, three inches small rib. It goes inside nicely. Right, so this is the uh, finish rubber texture that uh, I make it myself and managed to put the rubber texture over, over and then I stretch it and flatten it, make it flat. Uh, people are wondering uh, my uh, bed system. So this is the, uh, the bed, the uh, smaller bed that I managed to put it on my wheel head. And, uh, it's very easy to remove without touching the part. A little bit of a chamois or you can call it absorber. And two pieces, two pieces of uh, the uh, bed pin. Small one. I cut it short. So very short and easy to uh, put it on with a screw, just screw it on and that's it. If I need it, put it in. If I don't, remove it. If I want to use the large one, use the large one. Okay, so hope this helps, all right?